Hello all you bladers. We know that Vault is getting an evolution and we also know that Wyvern was the last release of Beyblade Burst Super King as in like anime bays. So Vault's evolution I assume is going to be next. So we're gonna talk about what gimmicks could they give it? What new parts could they gimmick give it? How are they gonna upgrade it? And etc. So first is the layer of Valkyrie. Valkyrie's layer has always been three-bladed. Always. It's always a three-bladed bay. It started off with Victory Valkyrie, which was basically Slash Valkyrie, but downgraded. Then it evolved into God Valkyrie, which had the blades, but it also had these tiny little blades underneath it. It also had these three feather points, and it was spring-loaded, which didn't really work too well. Then there was uh, Winning Valkyrie, which was basically Victory Valkyrie, but bigger and with more metal. And then w Winning Valkyrie and Chosey Valkyrie, like God Valkyrie, uh, had these like flat points on these three. Slash Valkyrie had flat points on these three, and then Brave had like flat points. But for Chosey and Winning Valkyrie, the three points were kind of sharp at the edges. I think that's one thing that they might add to Valkyrie. I think that they might add these like top three parts or bottom two parts, make it more sharp to transcend Chosey and Winning Valkyrie. You know, add a bit more of the Valkyrie Evolutions gimmick to it. Um, I do think that they they attempted to give it Bound gimmick, but it didn't really work. So I think that what they might do is give it a gimmick like Geist Fafnir. Geist Fafnir, obviously only the top part moves, but what I think they're gonna do with the new evolution is that they're gonna give it the wings, but they're gonna make the wings be able to like bound in and out like this to gain bound attacks, you know? Like it actually works in IRL in real life. So I think that is definitely one thing they're gonna do. I don't think they could possibly add more rubber I mean, adding the rubber on the blades of L3 is a bit overpower. It's a bit overkill. I feel like this amount of rubber is perfect for Valkyrie. I do think that they couldn't really upgrade the design better. I mean, maybe a bit more gold in the center, maybe more red around the outside or something like that. But yeah, for the layer, pretty much just more sharp of a shape on these three points here, more rubber in some places where it doesn't have that much, maybe on the bottom side or in the chip even. And they're gonna give the wings a bound gimmick probably because that's pretty much the only way they could upgrade the layer. So layer is done. Next, let's move on to the disc or chassis and super King. So the chassis and 2A lines up pretty well with the Valkyrie layer. Now, one thing that I do notice is that, so look at God Valkyrie. See how there's these like small blue points here? and then the wings and then the three points, like small points here. When you look at Brave, you can see those points from a certain angle. Like look here, this is the blade. Like if you look at these bays, right? These two blades are the same. This chassis point here and this chassis point here, they're equal. I mean, I mean, they could just add the small design details. I mean, maybe they could make the chassis a bit bigger and exposed here so it looks more like God Valkyrie in this form. And I can tell they really put a lot of Winning Valkyrie and God Valkyrie into this bay because Winning Valkyrie had these like diamonds on the blades and that's what Valkyrie has. And God Valkyrie, they actually kind of made the six wing gimmick similar to it. Like three wing, it had these three things exposed. If you look at it, like this is exposed here, this is exposed here. Now, when it's tilted, obviously, this is what it looks like. And it's more like, uh, you know, I think that the six wing gimmick was definitely not something I expected. I mean, besides old gimmicks for the chassis, they could give it a whole new gimmick altogether. I mean, they added rubber, they made it align the way God Valkyrie does. Plus they gave it the six wing gimmick. So that's really hard to improve. I honestly have no idea what they're gonna do with the chassis besides maybe add a little bit more thickness to these sharp points. They might give it, well, they're probably gonna give it another six wing mode, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe they could, uh, hmm, I don't know. I mean, they they definitely based the 2A chassis off of the Zenith disc, like very similar. You can like, even these two like points here, like there's even like an eye here and an eye here. They might add more of the Zenith disc detail into the actual chassis. One thing I think they might do is look at Blitz. Blitz has this like design of like little uh, blades here 
and it has the fins that pop out. So I think maybe on these three sides where it doesn't have anything, they might add like rubber fins that go up and create like air force maybe with the chassis. But I don't, I don't really know to be honest. I mean, I don't really know what they could do with the chassis. And then the driver is Evolution Dash. So the drivers of Valkyrie, I like to think of them as two patterns. The first driver, Excel, was sort of a blueprint. So I like to think of the dri Valkyrie drivers in two categories. There's the techno drivers, which are like reboots, ultimate reboots, volcanic and power. And then there's the rubber drivers, which are variable, evolution, evolution dash. Now, when you think about Valkyrie, the iconic driver is variable because variable was the first actual driver that Evolved owned. But I think that they're probably, most likely, based on the pattern, because the pattern they gave it first was a rubber driver, then it was techno drivers with ultimate reboot, then after was another rubber driver with evolution, then it was a techno driver with power, then it was a rubber driver with evolution dash. So I think the next the next driver in the pattern is a techno driver because they've been doing this pattern with like rubber, then techno, then rubber, then techno, then rubber. And right now it's in rubber, which means next is techno. Now they're probably not gonna give it reboot because we have ultimate reboot. They're not gonna give it volcanic because it doesn't really suit Valkyrie and it doesn't really have a nice flower pattern. Power, mm, I feel like power, they were just trying to give it ultimate reboot but better and it kind of failed in a way. They might give it something similar to power as in when this bottom part goes inwards, the spring contracts, making it tighter. That was cool. But I think that ultimately they are going to give it an upgraded version of Ultimate Reboot Dash. Why? Because Ultimate Reboot Dash was the driver that got Vault to the world champion. It's the driver on his bay that got him to be the world champion. If it wasn't for Ultimate Reboot or if it wasn't for Strike God Valkyrie's parts or Strike God Valkyrie in general, he never would have made it this far and his evolutions could have been different altogether. So on top of that, Ultimate Reboot has like a reboot gimmick, like Volt's whole personality is like he never gives up. He's always going on the attack, attack, attack. If he can't do it anymore, he just tries harder and harder and harder. And Ultimate Reboot is the perfect resemblance of that. Ultimate Reboot has a gimmick where it starts off, you know, pretty fast, but then when it slows down, it lowers in height and speeds up. That's a perfect gimmick for Valkyrie. I think that they're gonna give it an upgraded version of Ultimate Reboot Dash. Maybe this like black part is blue, and then I think they're gonna keep the red part red, most likely. Now, the other reason I think they're gonna give it Ultimate Reboot Dash is because Ultimate Reboot Dash is not only a techno driver, but it actually has rubber. Like this plastic piece, obviously it's plastic, but see this black ridge just here, like just around the edge here? This is rubber. This right here, that's rubber. Not the actual, like, uh, not like the actual piece, but like see like this part around here, like this part is actually rubber. Like see those like dent marks in there? That means it's rubber. So it actually has rubber in the beginning. It actually, uh, you know, it speeds up and in, in the beginning it's techno. And then when it ends off, it's like a rubber driver. Like it goes faster. So I think Ultimate Reboot it just makes more sense for Valkyrie to have it. They might give it Evolution Dash again, or I don't know. Most likely they're gonna give it Ultimate Reboot. So overall, I think that they're gonna give it a more effective bound gimmick. They're gonna make these three points more sharp. They're gonna give the chassis maybe, maybe the fins that Blitz have that are rubber, or they might give, the, get, give it fins like Blitz, but they're rubber. The fins are rubber. They also might give the chassis sharp points here to make it more like God Valkyrie. They also, um, they also should, or most likely are gonna give it some sort of upgraded version of Ultimate Reboot Dash. And I think that's pretty much it for like the evolutions they could give it. I didn't really talk about the chip because there's nothing they can improve, except for maybe add a bit more gold in the chip. But uh, yeah, because like these two Valkyries, like the previous two Valkyries had a lot of gold. Josie Valkyrie definitely had the most gold, but I feel like Slash looks more like Valkyrie and this looks really like Valkyrie. I think maybe just a bit more gold 
really looks, uh, it would really look nice. So I think that that's pretty much it. Like this was just a video because I wanted to like do just, just a quick video on like what parts I think they would give the evolution of Valkyrie because Valkyrie is one of my favorite babes and I just, I like Volk in general. He's a really cool character. The heart of Beyblade, he's the first protagonist in Beyblade first, so yeah. Tell me uh, in the comments if you agree with my theories, like if you agree that they're gonna give in a more effective bound gimmick and everything, what theories do you have? Let me know, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Thank you for watching, and peace out.